Yo, what's going on everybody? We are back with another Call of the Wild video today as we try to not let this moose run us over. And we are going to be hunting some whitetails today with the M1 and also the new muzzleloader. As I did a video testing the 10 gauge already, so we will just be testing these two guns now. I just, I did just spook a big herd of whitetails out of here, so we are going to wait for them to return, which they are returning now, and we're going to hopefully take down the biggest of the group. We are using the M1 on this big herd, so maybe we will potentially be able to get more than one, but I am not sure how my shooting was, is going to be with it, because it's got so much recoil. So... We took the first shot there, took another shot, I think we took a bad shot there. We definitely took a bad shot there. And there he went, that was just a flush wound. And I actually didn't have a ton of time to record this, so instead of going to track down that one because he was going to run a long ways, I did just leave him because he was going to run a long ways and I didn't have a ton of time to record. So. We'll pick up this first one now and see that he is in the 220 range, which isn't a bad deer. It would used to be pretty good scoring on the old scoring system. I assume it's still a pretty good score. So we'll go pick up the first one. He is definitely the biggest one in the group, at least that I saw, and we'll see what he scored. And it is a 268 which is pretty decent um he's the biggest one i've shot on the new scoring system but i haven't really hunted too much on it especially for whitetail i do believe i had a 266 a 268 a 273 and a 283 on the old scoring system so he's not the biggest one that i've ever shot but it's pretty close now we're gonna be sneaking up on these next heard of white tails and I believe it's only three so we are gonna take the muzzleloader and take the one buck out of the three and see if he scores anything decent I don't I didn't think he was gonna score anything decent he didn't even look that big but I just figured we better shoot him for testing purposes so we'll pull up and see if we can't take a shot through the trees here and that looks like a pretty good spot or pretty good shot and now we're gonna see the reload animation and i actually really like the reload animation on the muzzleloader because it looks like it just looks so good everything seems to be working fine hopefully it doesn't break in a future update but that does tend to happen quite a lot with reload animations and quite a lot of movement animations as we do spot another herd of whitetails. Well, we spot one whitetail, but I do believe that there is a couple other ones over there with him, so we'll take a look after we claim this one. And yeah, there's the two doe that were with him when he, when we shot running away, so I just assumed that those are the only two that were here with him. There might have been a third one that we didn't see, but I'm just not too worried about it. So we'll pick him up, and he's just a silver. So nothing too, nothing too big, kind of what I assumed. Now we'll look over here. This is where we saw the, uh, this is where we saw them the first time. So we'll see, and there's three over there again, as we again try to avoid a moose. And the one on the right seems to be the biggest of the two bucks over there, I think is the one that I'm going to shoot. So we'll take him and see how he scores. We're going to try and take a long shot with the muzzleloader. And that looked like a pretty decent shot. Should have been a good shot. We do just get a spot on him as he dies. So, yep, that wasn't a bad shot at all. So we'll run over there and claim him now and see what he scored right after we get this reloaded. All 
Alright, so we did get up here now. And just another silver. Nothing too big. We cut, found another deer. Very close to us, actually. And as you see now, I am about to take a shot. And we got a click because I did not finish reloading, apparently. Also kind of cool animation that if you did not finish reloading the last time, that he just finishes where you left off, which I did not know because I had not done that yet. So I kind of figured that he would just start the reload over again and completely redo it, but since he just picked up right where he left off, I think that's a pretty cool little animation that they added in. So, we took a pretty decent shot on that deer. I don't know if he ran very much at all, as we, again, are a, avoiding a bear. And, so we'll see what we get up here. He didn't run too far. I don't think he's anything decent, but I figured we'd just take another deer down and just another silver nothing too big in this video but we're gonna check out some other lakes quick before i have to go and i didn't really find anything else at those at those lakes but we do have the 10 gauge on us and there's some ducks in this lake so we will sneak up a little bit closer and try to take the ducks with the 10 gauge just as some bonus skills at the end of the video so We'll sneak up here quick. We're gonna spot them to make sure there's nothing too big. Tried to spot them with the gun, but couldn't really get any of them except for the one that was the closest. So we'll pull out the binoculars quick or a scope to spot them. And looks like the closest male is the biggest male. The only reason I can tell is because he has the higher or the medium gold the medium level two uh range for scoring so we'll see and we took three shots and got three ducks so that was pretty decent shooting and those are going to be the last kills of the video because i do have to get going so thank you for watching like if you liked subscribe if you want to see more also check out my twitter and discord in the description along with my twitch and some other things that i have linked down there as we pick up the rest of these ducks and that will be the end of the video see you in the next video